In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. On July 16th, 1251, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to St. Simon Stock, a Carmelite friar, and giving him this scapular, she said that all who should wear it will be saved from eternal damnation. These are her words. Receive, my beloved son, this scapular of thy order, the badge of my confraternity, a privilege granted it to thee and to all Carmelites. Whoever dies clothed with it will not suffer eternal fire. Whoever dies clothed with it will not suffer eternal fire. These are very strong words which only the Mother of God would be able to pronounce. A promise that all those who wear this scapular will not go to hell. But in order to benefit from this promise, one should receive properly the scapular from a priest with the proper right of blessing and imposition. And also one should be wearing it at the moment of death. The scapular should be made out of wool and it should be used around the neck. There is still a second promise attached to the brown scapular. On March 3rd, 1322, the Pope John XXII issued a document in which he writes that the Blessed Mother appeared to him and said that she would descend from heaven to purgatory in order to deliver from there the souls of those who died wearing the scapular on the Saturday after their deaths. This is what we call the Sabbatin privilege which means the privilege of Saturday, which is a day dedicated in a special way to our Blessed Mother. And in order to benefit from this promise to be delivered from purgatory, the first Saturday after death, besides wearing the scapular, one should observe chastity, according to his state in life. And also, one should recite the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary or abstain from meat on Wednesdays. It's important to know that this last condition, which means to recite the little office or to abstain from meat on Wednesdays can be replaced by another pious work with the permission of any confessor. So the one who wears piously this scapular will not only be delivered from hell, but also from the flames of purgatory. And these are the two great promises of the scapular. 
These promises presuppose that we live in the grace of God, of course. However, if someone is in a state of sin, we can hope for their conversion. We can hope for their conversion through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. The scapular is not a superstition, but a sacramental approved by the Church. It is a sign of salvation which the Blessed Mother has obtained for us. So why would we not wear this little sign that can call upon us so many graces? This scapular is a sign of the love of Our Lady towards us. And wearing it, it's a sign of our love towards her. So let us observe the necessary conditions in order to receive what Our Lady has promised. So we may all go to heaven where she will show us the blessed fruit of her womb, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.